following a 2-1 win over Barca United in Yanagua. Remo Stars returned to the Remo Stars Stadium in Kenya to face off against Sporting Lagos in the first Southwest derby of the season. It was the very first time in which the two sides are meeting in a competitive game. Coach Daniel Ogumodede returning goal by Ankoli Kayode while Dayojo was preferred in the midfield with Sikura Limi spreading the attack alongside Frank Mawena Kwame. It was the wayside that started the game on the front foot when Junior Lukosa stole the ball in the midfield allowing Nathan Aluko, but the winger could only shoot straight at Bankoli Kayode as the early as the seventh minutes of the game. Another chance came the way of the visitors when a long range free kick was missed by Whiskers from the coach Paul of all side. All of the threatening eventually resulted in a goal for the boys in yellow as Clement quickly found Jonathan Aluku one more time before the winger this time slammed straight beyond Bankoli Coyote. Five minutes on from conceding, Remo Stars were presented with an opportunity to equalize as Shewung Rubide could only direct his header beyond the goalpost of Christian Owoke. Remo Stars eventually did get their equalizer on the half hour mark as Olali Kong Adidayo combined beautifully on the far right hand side with Sadiq Ismail with the right back sending in a cross to Frank Mawena who guided the ball into the back of the net. A third assist for Sadiq Ismail, a first goal for Frank Mawena in the NPFL. The Southwest Derby inside 30 minutes of football, eventually living up to the billing. Some beautiful exchange of passes between Sikuru Alimi, Sadiq Ismail, and Olali Kong Adedayo saw a chance presented to Shewu Ogunribide. This time, meeting a loose ball in the box, but could not direct his effort beyond Christian Wonke, despite having a chance to shoot at goal. Sikura Limi thought he would be getting a penalty for Remo Stars after meeting a knockdown from Frank Kwame Mawena, but the referee was having none of it. Another opportunity was presented the way of Remo Stars when Christian Wonke misjudged the flight of the ball, but Sikura Limi could not connect the header on target. The start of the second 45 minutes was delayed by over an hour as the rains pour in Ikene. But just five minutes in, a cross from Dayo Joe was handled by Osavage in the box, allowing Ramostas to get a penalty and a chance at a second goal of the game. Stepping up to take was Sikiru Alimi. From 12 yards out, eyeball to eyeball with Christian Iwoke, straight down the middle and a second goal for Ramostas. Pressure, penalty, no problem for Sikura Alimi. His third goal in three NPFL games this season. The joint highest goal scorer. On the hour mark, Alamile Kondedayo thought he would be giving Remo Stas a third goal after a loose ball fell kindly to him. But Christian Uwoke, despite the conditions, could keep the ball handy. Adams Alamile also tested Christian Uwoke for size from long range, but Uwoke was up to the tax yet again. From a corner kick situation, Frank Kwame was adjudged to have been offside despite Adam Solamilikon slamming the ball into the back of the net. It was the second time in as many months that Adam Solamilikon could see his goal against Sporting Lagos ruled out for offside. A torn in the flesh of the Sporting Lagos defense, Adam Solamilikon beautifully turned his man in the center circle before spreading the ball to the far left hand side with the Remo Stars attacking threat could not result in a goal in the face of play. The away team had a shot for a penalty off a clearance from Sikura Alimi. Another good order play from Frank Mawena allowed Sikura Alimi to skip past his man before the striker could only drag his efforts wide. 
The first ever Southwest meeting between the two teams ended 2 1 in favor of the Sky Blue Stars. Remo Stars will now travel to about to face off against the Yimba International as they go top of the NPFL table.